Welcome. It is Tuesday, and it's good to be with you today. How are you doing? Well, I hope and pray that you will pray for Brother Jack today. He goes to the doctor, and he surely will need your prayers. We want God's will to be done, and so please pray for him and also for Sister B, okay? All right, well, let's get into the Word of God. We're going to spend a little bit of time in the book of Galatians and primarily in chapter 6, and so uh, just be ready for that. But our verse for the day is found in verse number one. The Bible says it like this, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. The Bible says in verse two, bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. You know, did you know that God... Uh, can use you to bear someone else's burdens, to help them in their time of, of need, to bear one another's burdens. May you and I be willing to do that. You know, the, the Bible gives us a little bit of, of detail on this. In this case, here's, here's a man that is overtaken in a fault. We don't know what that is, but he's overtaken. In other words, it's bigger than him, and he he cannot seem to get out of it. He needs help. You know, the Bible encourages you and I to be aware of that and to be willing to help them. Boy, to be a helper in the lives of people around us. Boy, there's so many that you and I can help, but there are some qualifications. There is a condition here, and that is this. The Bible says, those that are spiritual. In other words, those that are spiritual are in the best position to help people. What do you mean, preacher? Well, what that is, is, and I want to challenge you today, that you and I walk with the Lord, that you and I live a life that God, that is pleasing to the Lord. We deal with things in our lives uh, that there isn't any obvious thing that we're aware of that, that God is not pleased with. Uh, in other words, we're doing what God would have us to do. We are spiritual. And so... <clears throat> And the reason why is because I tell you, people are not going to want you and I to help them if there's something in their own lives that's, that's obvious to everybody. They're going to say, why do you, how can you help me when, when you don't even have your own life in order? So, so may you and I seek and, and may you and I be spiritual. In other words, we do what God would have us to do. That's how we live. But as we live faithfully to the Lord, as we go about our lives doing what is right, uh, and when, when, when we fail, we get things right. But, but as we do that, the Bible encourages you and I to be willing to let God help others. Folks, there are people around us that need our help. But there's a, there's a third thing I want you to pay attention to. In other words, the reason why. Why should we help others? Well, obviously, it's the spiritual thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Uh, you know, we can help them. By the way, the grace of God that works in our life, when, when, when we've gone through hard times, the comfort of God, we in turn, because of that, can help other people because of what we've learned. Well, the Bible says here in verse number one of our text, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. In other words, to examine your own own life, to think about, you know, you know, you could do the same thing. You could fall into the same trap and you could have the same problems. But when you and I, which are spiritual, live the way God would have us to live, and then we begin to help others, I tell you, it teaches us. It reminds us, hey, we don't want to go there. Hey, you know, we don't want to live this way because we know where it's going to lead. And so may you and I be aware of the needs around us. There are so many burdens that people carry. And may we be willing to say, God, here am I. And as God works in your life, as God changes your life, you in turn can help someone else to bear their burdens. What a blessing that is. May you and I be a blessing to other people today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the word of God. Thank you for the challenge. And Lord, thank you for working in our lives. Thank you for helping us live the way that we do. And, and it's not by mistake, Father, it's by your amazing grace. But in turn, Lord, help us to be aware of the burdens of people around us. May we be willing to help people through whatever it is that, 
that they're going through. Lord, thank you for what you've done in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you as you bear one another's burdens. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.